In this video, we'll be going over study visibility. For convenience, you can specify that a study is only visible on certain bar sizes. Now, this is similar to the visibility feature for components, but it applies for studies. And by default, a study is visible on all bar sizes. So let's take a look, for instance, let's call up CCI. Let's plot the study. Now you'll notice by default, as I change time frames, you'll see that the CCI down here is visible. And actually, let me make this larger. Now we can control the visibility uh, again by either double clicking on the study label or right clicking and select the edit. We can make changes to the study's visibility via the Options tab. We'll go over the Options tab. Right now, as mentioned before, the default is All. But let's try some different combinations here. Let's try greater than and equal to daily. Apply, update. You'll notice now anything less than a day does not show it. Now daily, weekly, anything larger, it will show. Okay, let's do one more example. Options. Let's try range. In this case, instead of just stating greater than, equal to, or less than, or less than, equal to, we actually have the option to specify a range. So on the lower end, let's do greater than or equal to an hour, but less than, um, a day. So apply, update. So now if we go to any time frame below one hour, 20 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute, you'll notice that there is no study as it's not visible. If we head over to the hourly, you'll now see that the study is visible. And this will continue on through up until the upper boundary of our specified range, which was uh, one day, but we've also included the day because we put equals less than and equals to. So it'll be on the daily and anything larger than a day will not show. So the weekly should not show anything larger. Okay, so let's go back here. As we can see here, again, greater than or equal to one hour and less than or equal to one day. Okay, so that's it for this video on study visibility and we'll see you in the next.